Hi guys! So today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to do my top 15 beauty products under $10. I love drugstore. I have a bunch of high end but I love drugstore for the price. They have some good products out there that don't cost a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my favorite products from the drugstore. And hopefully some of you guys go out and pick up some of these products. Don't pick up all of them because it adds up. But some of the products. I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I have... 15 products I want to show you guys and tell you a little bit about them. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. What I'm going to show you is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. And I have quite a bit of Wet n Wild that I want to show you guys. But the first one is this 8 pan eyeshadow palette in Comfort Zone. I have several of these in my collection and I love every one of them. I think Wet n Wild makes some of the best drugstore and even I think these rival high end eyeshadows. They're so pigmented. So soft and creamy they blend really well they wear really well best eyeshadows at the drugstore I'll show you how pigmented they are so that's on my finger and then that's swatched and as you can see like it has no it's not dry or anything they're really creamy and um, they're not powdery they don't leave fallout I just love these things so if you're looking for another makeup brand that um, you know, you may have not thought about Wet n Wild is a really nice brand to check out. So that's the first item. The second item is this um, Maybelline Color Tattoo. And it's supposed to last for 24 hours. It's the color Toughest Taupe number 35. These are really nice products. Um, they rival Max um, Paint Pots. They're the same consistency. I think they last the same. They don't crease. They have a very wide variety of colors. Um, and just they are really nice bases. They're supposed to be eyeshadows, but I use them for bases because I think they work better that way. Um, but you can definitely use these as eyeshadows, and it's a quick way to just put on some um, eye makeup and walk out the door with some eyeliner and some mascara. And I think these work really well for that as well. So these are like I want to say like six or seven dollars at Walmart, and they're anywhere else you go they're not over ten dollars so these are really a, a really nice steal from the drugstore the next item is a uh, mascara and this is one that I've repurchased time and time again I have bought many mascaras high end low end and this is one that I go back to every single time and it's the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Mascara in Extreme Black um, the reason I use this all the time and I buy it all the time is because of the brush basically I love this brush. It's very tiny. You can use it on your bottom lashes, on your top lashes, and it gives you just a really nice lengthening effect on your eyelashes. You just in the it's because of the brush. Like the brush has these combs on the sides, so you can get right up to your lash line and kind of comb the eyelashes out and just give your lashes a really nice length. So I love this. It, your eyelashes are so black when you wear this. It's just a really nice mascara. So I recommend this. 10 times over. This is a really nice mascara. The next product I want to show you guys um, is a foundation. Now, and it is from Maybelline. It's the Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. And it's supposed to give you an airbrush finish, which I have to say, it does give me a really nice finish. Um, and it just, you know, I can blend it in really nicely. I don't have to use too much, so it, it's not cakey. It doesn't settle into the lines. It doesn't, um, you know, like leave throughout the day it lasts a really long time and I just like this foundation for me personally I do have oily skin and this works really well on my skin so I love it and it's in the color cocoa and I think this is like seven dollars at Walmart so really nice um price point and it does come with a pump so a lot of drugstores and even high-end foundations don't come with a pump so I really like that about this foundation as well. The next product I'm going to show you guys is a concealer palette and it is from Sonia Keshik and it is in the Hidden Agenda number 7. Now I don't use this um, like the cover up blemishes or anything. I use this under my brow bone like if I want to shape my brows or like clean up any um, you know make my brows look really really nice I use this um, if I want to have a really light highlight and it comes with two actual concealers a corrector right here and then a powder that you can use I usually use just this dark shade right here and sometimes this shade over here um, 
and they work really well it's not too oily it's not tacky it's just like a really nice consistency and you can get this at Target for like six dollars no more than eight dollars I'm pretty sure so really nice um, you get four products in one and this lasts a really long time like I think like three or four months so it's a really nice product next product I'm gonna show you is one that I really wanted to show you guys is the elf high definition powder and this stuff is amazing it's three dollars at Target you can get it at Ulta and also um, on the website I don't know where else you will be able to get it but um, three dollars you get a ton a ton of products um, it looks like this in the inside and it's just a um, translucent powder so any skin tone can wear it and it works amazing it rivals the makeup forever high definition powder which I love this stuff and I'm almost out of this one and this can be a little bit expensive um, if you don't have the money for it so whenever I don't want to repurchase the makeup forever foundation I mean high definition powder right away I always fall back on this one because it's basically the same I think the high definition powder for makeup forever keeps your oil at bay a little better but this one is just as good um, it does help with oil if you have oily skin and it's one of those powders that blend in really nicely to any skin tone so I really like this powder and I can't say enough good things about it you have to try it for yourself three dollars you know try it you'll like it I'm pretty sure you will the product I want to show you guys is a concealer and it's from Maybelline and it's from the fit me line and it's in the number 30 I think this is the darkest concealer they have but I love it for highlighting under my eyes I don't really have a lot of blemishes or um, dark circles or anything like that so I usually just use this to highlight under my eyes and I think this is a really really nice um, concealer to do that because some people do have um, laugh lines and fine lines under their eyes and this concealer does not settle into lines at all it's very creamy um, it's not like really wet it's just like a creamy consistency um, it comes with a doe foot applicator so you don't have to use your hands if you don't want to I generally use a sponge after I apply it on my face and then I like use a sponge to spread it out you can use a brush your fingers it works well any kind of way you want to use it but I personally use it with a sponge I wet the sponge a little bit and then spread it out and it's amazing it is like two shades lighter than my actual skin tone so it does give me that brightening effect um, and kind of like the center of my face so I love this um, concealer and this is like four or five dollars so it's really cheap blushes from wet n wild and I think these are one of the best drugstore blushes out there Maybelline Revlon Rimmel whatever Wet n Wild has some amazing blushes um, the only thing is they don't have a wide variety of color but their blushes are amazing they're just like the eyeshadows they're very pigmented very um, soft so you can just blend it really nicely you don't have to keep on packing on the color just to get results like you can use dip your brush one time and swirl it on your cheek and you have the color already so I think these are really nice um, options for blushes so the next item I'm going to show you is a bronzer and I've been on the hunt for a bronzer for the longest time and I finally found one a while ago like a couple months ago it's from covergirl in the covergirl queen collection um, I should say and it's in ebony bronze and it's just this beautiful chocolatey brown golden like the best product ever I love this stuff I cannot get enough of it and I would repurchase this over and over again because this is like one of the best bronzers I've ever found and I have several of them but this is the closest I've got that works really well with my skin tone so love it we repurchase it's like five dollars at Target Walmart whatever love it if you're looking for a nice bronzer this is one that you can purchase it works amazing like I can't say enough about this bronzer it looks good in the summer it looks good in the winter it's just an all-around great product so I love that one. product is from wet n wild again and it's a um it's the ultimate brow kit from wet n wild in number 963 ash brown they only have one brow kit and it comes with a darker brow um, powder a lighter brow powder and a gel 
It also came with a brush and a pair of tweezers, but this product is the bomb. I've had this for so long and I still have not hit pan on any of the powders. The gel I have hit pan on, but that's just because it's a lighter, you know, consistency. So I was going to hit pan on that first anyway, but I love it. I think it matches my eyebrows really well and it fills them in really well. I don't have to use that much product. Um, you can wear it as dark as you want, as light as you want. It's just a really nice product. And this is like $3 at the drugstore. So you can't be that for a brow powder that lasts at least a year. So I love this stuff. I also use the NYX Brow Pencil in 903 Dark Brown. This is the, you know, what I have left. I need to go get a new one. But I love this to shape my brows. I shape my brows with this and then I fill them in with this product right here. And these two work really well together. I think if you're a brunette, this is a really nice color option for you for your brows. So I really love this one. And this is like $2, 2 or $3 at Ulta or Target. So I really love that one as well. The next product that I want to show you guys is a eyeliner. And I use this on my waterline. And I originally bought this product because I always wear dark eyeliner on my waterline. So I wanted something a little bit lighter. But I didn't want a white eyeliner, so I um, found this one. It's from Rimmel, and it's the Scandal Eyes Eyeliner, and it's the number five nude. And it's a very nice nude beige color. It's not too stark. I think it will match with anybody's, you know, skin complexion. It won't. It won't be that obvious, but it'll show through, and it'll brighten your eyes and make your eyes look really big. And it's waterproof, so it lasts a really long time. And I just love this pencil I love it it's a really nice product and the lip products that I wanted to show you guys the two lipsticks that I picked out from the drugstore are the covergirl lipsticks that come in this packaging I'm not sure um, what line this is from covergirl but they look like this this is in the color divine 330 and it is just a beautiful purple color I love this color, but I love all the lipsticks from this, um, this line. I think I have all of them except for like five, and they're amazing. They act like a stain, but they're a lipstick. So you can put this on early in the morning, and it'll look the same as, you know, eight hours from now. I mean, it might wear off a little bit, but this stays on the longest. This is one of the longest wearing lipsticks that I've ever tried, and they cost like six dollars so and then the other lipstick is from Wet n Wild again I know I keep on saying Wet n Wild but they have really awesome products from Wet n Wild and they're really cheap this one is $1.99 and it's just from their matte line and it's in spotlight red this is just one of the ones I pulled out I have pretty much every one from that line and it looks like that and these are just beautiful matte lipsticks um, $1.99 for a matte lipstick. They stay on really long. They have really nice um, consistency. They're very uh, pigmented. I don't know what else to say. Like this is just a steal for lipstick. And then I don't really wear lip gloss, but um, one brand that I use most of the time if I do wear a gloss is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. This one is in T Rose. This is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. But this is just, you know, I think these have a really nice consistency. Um, they do have a smell to them. I mean, some people might not like them, but I don't have a problem with them. But I think the consistency is really nice. They have a wide range of colors. Um, you can wear it over a lipstick or without a lipstick. You can wear it over a lip pencil. And I think these are just really nice lip glosses. And I believe these are like 3 to $4 at... Ulta and they even sell NYX at Target now so you can get your hands on these. That is all the products that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you like my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!